Hi, everybody. I'm Michelle Carpenter, and welcome, welcome, welcome. I have our beautiful, amazing Sue Tobin with us today, and I wanted to share Sue's remarkable six-week mindfulness and meditation journey that is starting in two days' time, the 17th of September and the 18th of September. Uh, and I just thought that we would share some of Sue's essence. Sue was uh, had a beautiful connection in Egypt last year. And when we, we were just chatting about, we went to Sekhmet's temple and we all had an incredible, remarkable experience with Sekhmet. And Sekhmet came to Jill Cole and myself in our hotel room in Luxor. And she had shared with us that Sue is the queen of compassion. And I wanted to share this with you all who are here, who are listening, because it is an absolute honor for me to be able to walk this journey with Sue. And Sue, thank you for being here with us again. And guys, I could I could just literally sit here and talk about Sue. <laughs> but I want Sue to offer the sharings of this Connect to Source. Uh, this beautiful six-week journey, this course that you're putting together, what would you want to share with those that are open to receiving today, tonight, Sue? Thank you, Michelle. Thank you very much. You know, it is a privilege to do this course um, and to also have the Council of Eight by my side to <laughs> <laughs> um, be working with us. Um Yes, it's connecting to source. Now, what is source? So this is what the the course is all about, the mindfulness first and then the meditation, and then we combine them together, bring them one. So we'll be looking at sufferings, why we suffer, why do we need to suffer, who are we, who do we think we are, not what we are. And so there'll be quotes and there be stories and teachings in the mindfulness practice and meditation now when you work with meditation it's not just sitting and meditating it's actually everything you do in life in at that level so you're actually connecting to source the universe to god whatever name you want to put to this and if you're doing that, you're working with truth, you're working with honesty, and most of all, you're working with compassion and love. And that is another subject I'll touch on another day, um, because that is, um, you know, talking about love in love and love and compassion. So they're all different, they're all slightly different. Um, but when you have love and compassion, you are connecting to source. So your your actions or reactions only come from a good place. So it's learning how to do these things with meditation and mindfulness. Mindfulness brings up, can bring up emotions. And that's good because now you start to become the person who you should be not who you think you are mm. so be very very interesting and i welcome you all to join michelle and i and as i say you know we have the masters with us in the last part of the session who will be giving a monologue uh, for the last five minutes oh, sorry 15 minutes extended to 15 and what a gift is that you know that's a wonderful wonderful gift these are enlightened masters who have walked this road like we are walking in sufferings. They have learned and they have become enlightened. So if we want to walk on this path, then we do it this way of meditation and mindfulness and learning to know who we really are. And so to have 
the masters with us to help us throughout these six weeks is nothing but very profound. So I welcome you all. It's going to be fun as well as serious and beneficial. Mm. Thank, you. Thank you for sharing. And I can honestly, from my heart, to any of you that are watching this, share with you openly that walking this journey with Sue has been incredibly uh, uplifting. We laugh a lot together and uh, we <laughs> laughter is key. We have a lot of fun. Yet what I've loved and, uh, you know, as much as I'm I'm a channel for the Council of Eight, the ascended. I love how Sue always calls them the masters, the masters. She says it so beautifully. And, you know, they've said it doesn't matter what their name's about. What matters is the messages that come through. And when Sue started to walk this journey with me, and the seeds were planted last year from what I can remember. Is that correct, Sue, where they had said, by the way, you'll be working with Michelle, and like me, I'm a squirrel, like, yeah, okay. And then Sue's like, oh, I need to tell you this, Michelle. <laughs> really? really? <laughs> yes. But the beauty of, of us um, walking this journey together is, and I, I can honestly share this with anybody who's listening to this today, is that this was life-changing for me. So much so that, and I think you had actually shared at one time in the in, in one of the meditations, and I don't know how it came through, but that it was going to bring a change to me. And I think you said that, hey, Sue, and uh, I didn't know how, you know, it, it didn't matter. What mattered was how I was sensing and how I was feeling into this wonderful new vibration uh, for myself as a human. And I got really, really sick, but it was profound. And I felt like, and I've shared this before, I felt like I was in between two worlds, have I shared this with you, Sue? I think we might have spoken about this. And I did. I felt like I was in between two worlds. You know, some of us call it the dark night of the soul. And I didn't think that after 16, 17 years of doing this emotional, physical, mental, spiritual work, that I'd be going through this dark night of the soul. And it was kind of like I was held, like really just held in between these this, this space and time. And I had to surrender. Cool. And I get, I get um, teary sharing this because I had to surrender and accept that what is, is. And it's everything and it's nothing. And it's all in between. And Sue has completely taught me how to trust about being in the flow, about, oh my gosh, I, I I cannot share enough with you guys as to the learnings I've learned in June, July, August. We're in September, in four months. And it's been m miraculous and it's been a miracle. And it's been a bunch of miracles all in one. So I'm incredibly grateful, Sue. Sue has a memory, guys, that blows my mind. <laughs> really, it does. And I'm like, okay, remember, brain, come on, remember, remember. But Sue will send me messages out of the blue. And that's what I love is how our connection, everything is interconnected and how it's just been this, this gentle nudge. You've given me a gentle nudge because I come with resistance. <laughs> yes, Sue, you can say it. <laughs> oh, no, I you've think all of us. Well, th that's the beauty of, you know, like you shared, is that the resistance is just, if you had said to me six months ago, one year ago, that this was the journey that we were going to walk together, I would have been in awe. And I feel incredibly honored and privileged to share this journey because you have taught me that to have faith and trust in in our spirit team. They've got us all the time. 
all the time. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is a six-week journey. We start in two days, as I mentioned earlier on. And uh, this is a showing up for yourself. And I can honestly, honestly, from my heart, share with you guys that it's enlightening, it's incredible, it's amazing, and above all, it's beautiful connection to everything that is. So please go and sign up, www.michellecarpenter.co.nz. It's a weekly payment of 44 US dollars. And um, sometimes there's no words. Feel into it. And uh, we look forward to walking this journey with you. Do you have any last words, Sue? That the masters are with us. They'll be with us on each session. And um, I don't think there's any more to say after that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you for being here. Thank you, Sue. We look forward to sharing this journey with you. I will put the time zones in the description. Uh, but it will be evening in the UK, Europe, and it will be morning in New Zealand. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. And remember, love is why we are here, guys. Have an amazing, amazing day. Love you all. Bye.